five. In this video lesson, we're gonna add those notification. For example, if we try to register without fill the form, okay, as you can see, we have this little pop up those notification as a name, email, and password. But if we do have a name, let's say Peter, Peter, and uh, as you can see, please add an email and password. But if we type, I mean, an email that is not correctly formatted. Let's say we type gibberish, some gibberish, okay? As you can see, please add a valid email. Please add a password, okay? Let's say we say peter at gmail.com, okay? And we don't have a password. As you can see, please add a password. But if we do have a password, for example, with less than six characters okay let's say as you can see password must have at least six characters but if we do have six characters okay as you can see um, the system required to i mean to add a solid password okay that means this requirements i mean these requirements i mean an uppercase letter, lowercase, a number, and um, special characters. Okay, but let's uh, add a strong password. Okay, and as you can see, account created, please log in. Okay, that's what we're gonna uh, implement, and also we're gonna add, I mean, uh, um, a header, I mean, a menu, and a footer. Okay, so without wasting time, guys, let's begin. Okay, guys, so one more thing to tell you guys about the, the form, the sign-up form, is that, I mean, the last time, okay, the, the form was not, I mean, uh, look uh, too beautiful, so we add some CSS, okay, but I'm going to leave uh, uh, the GitHub repo link, okay, in the description, okay, but since we are not focused on, the, uh, I mean, uh, the CSS part, okay, but I'm going to leave the code in the um, video description okay so now let's go to i mean to the code editor to implement i mean this uh, little pop-up notification this does notification i mean okay guys so in our code editor so as you can see in app.css i mean this is uh, what we have added okay so simple thing okay so we're gonna have as I said in the beginning of the video, so we're gonna have everything in the um, in the link description, okay, of my GitHub repo. Okay, so now um, let's implement the toast notification. So, okay, guys, so we're gonna use for the toast notification this package name React Toastify. Okay, so let's install. I mean, this package in our code editor. Okay, so in our code editor, so um, in front end, okay, so I mean, let's type npm, lowercase, npm i um, dash dash save, I mean, has dependency, okay, this package, react testify, and press enter, okay, it will, it will take, I mean, a couple of seconds to download, and after that, we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we have successfully installed I mean our package. So let's verify in package.json in front end. Okay, and let's uh, okay search for React to CFI. As you can see, we have React to CFI as dependency. Okay, and now let's implement okay React to CFI in our front end. So I'm gonna go back a little bit in the I mean, in the npm package, and as you can see, we install as dependency, okay? And uh, this is, uh, I mean, uh, what we're gonna use, import toast container, toast, and react to CFI, okay? So, but, uh, let's do it in real world scenario, okay? Uh, to let you see how it's gonna be. 
it is very simple to implement. Okay, we want to add those notifications for the sign up component. We could do like this, adding, I mean, import those container and those from React Testify and import also the CSS. But we would have to do this for each component. To avoid this, okay, because this those container, this is um, this one that is responsible to show you the message. I mean, uh, even is uh, a success or fail, whatever, or warning, etc. But to avoid this, I'm gonna cut this package, cut this, I mean, two lines, sorry, and I will add it in the top level of my application. Okay, so here I'm gonna add it here, but I'm gonna remove this one. This is where I, I will put the custom message, but this does container I will add it one time. Okay, so like so i have my toast container and after that let's see and what i'm going to do now i have in sign up i have let's uh import i mean i'm gonna import toast okay this will be toast okay like so in react testify but uh Let's say here in handle submit, if data success, I mean, the last time I put it more simple, but you could do this, extract the data. If you know, I mean, uh, the axios, okay, you could extract the data, okay, from uh, the axio. And after that, here, data that success. But if we do have a data that success, that success, equal, 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 true. What we want to have, we want to have our message, our success message. I mean, toast, uh, let's say success. Okay. And let's have our message. Okay. Uh, let's say, I mean, uh, sign up. Okay. Successfully. Okay please log in okay so that's it and if we have i mean if the sign up is not uh, was not made successfully i mean here we would have i mean error okay like so and but instead of outputting i mean uh, a hard coded text I will add, I mean, this error, okay? Because this one will come from the database, okay? And now let's see. Okay, guys, so now, I mean, in the browser, okay? Let's give a try. And uh, let's say we don't fill the form, okay? As you can see, guys, we have had a name, email, and password, and etc. cetera, if we do have a name, so we'll have uh, an email and password okay and what i've showed you not correctly formatted email okay add a valid email and guys everything is working okay let's say um let's say um man at gmail.com okay and guys add a password Okay, so everything guys is working okay so everything is working guys so okay let's i'm gonna add a success message to to let you know that is everything is working okay um let's say warny let's say warny here and let me add a solid password okay and as you can see guys sign up successfully successfully please log in okay so um everything is working guys okay guys so we have implemented those notifications so in the next video i'm gonna add a header menu and a footer the header menu so that we can navigate easily in our application 
so uh, that's it so if you have question please use the comment section below and uh, the more you like this video I mean it helps with the YouTube algorithms so that it can I mean suggest this video to others and by the same way to help us I mean to grow okay so from now thanks for watching and see you in the next video